you said it, I'm really thinking about it. Yes, um, I feel like we have a lot of running backs in this conference. Uh, a lot of guys are, are coming out. Um, a lot of quarterbacks have left. Um, Keith winning. Um, and then Northern Illinois um, quarterback man up for the Heisman. Um, and then Bowling Green quarterback doing an outstanding job being Northern. So um, I feel though um, we have a lot of running backs that's going to take over um, teams this year. Um, but once again, um, offenses have to do what the defense gives you. So if they're packing the box, then we still have to pass the ball. So quarterbacks got to still be able to do what they do. Um, and that's what programs are all about. Um, uh, senior quarterbacks leaving and the next guy stepping up. I think so. Um, you know, at Toledo, at least in my four years, I've been blessed with great running backs. You know, we had uh, Morgan Williams and Donis Thomas before David Flewellen, and those guys were both, you know, spectacular runners in their own rights. So uh, we've been very fortunate to have three really good running backs, which has, you know, been a large part of why our offense has been so successful. But I definitely think, you know, running backs are becoming big, yeah. Yes, I think that offensive line, when you're talking about that, it's such a developmental position across the nation. Sometimes we think that, um, you know, six, five, 315 pound kids are just born. You know, you got to kind of make them, you know, and uh, that's true whether you're at Florida or you're at NIU. And so that development, you'll see that go with every school is that when you get that older group of offensive linemen up front, they're usually bigger, stronger, and your run game's usually better because of it. Um, is the run game taking more of a precedence in the MAC? Um, I think if you talk to every coach um, in the MAC, the first thing they'd say is they want balance offensively, but they want to run the football because you know you have to when it gets to November and it's, you know, we're on TV and all of a sudden it's minus 14 out. It's pretty tough to throw the ball. <laughs> uh, I just try to get in where I fit in. If they want me to um, go on the edge and pass block or run block or stay inside and pass block, whatever they need me to do, it's third and short and they need a big back or the, the, the extra push, I'm just trying to help my team out, whatever they need. or I, I'm guessing that's how everybody feels, especially on, on our team. So, Well, the bottom line is we all want to find a way to be successful. And each year your team evolves. It's different. Your conference evolves. Uh, there were games in this league three, four years ago that were 60-point games, and that's part of the excitement of Maction, right? Uh, you may see some games this year that are a little bit lower scoring, but I anticipate a bunch of close games just like we've seen uh, in all three years that I've been in the league. I firmly believe that we have the best offensive line in the MAC. So I think that the running game obviously is, is their bread and butter. It's what they take pride in. Um, <clears throat> and it starts, we had the best, one of the best running backs in the conference last year in Brandon Oliver. This year we're going to have a guy um, running the ball, Devin Campbell, Jordan Johnson, and then Anthony Taylor will be, will be our starter. So those are three guys that are very capable of running the football.